Welcome to another video, guys. It's Ellie again from Eddie's Land Access Four, and today I'll talk about how to convert dot e dot py towards dot exe. That means executable file that you're using auto py to exe. Okay. So the first thing is pull up a command line a terminal. Mine is in taskbar, and I have a shortcut right here. But for you, if it if it isn't there, just pull up your startup menu there uh, by clicking on this button and type on cmd and you will see an open option there just click on it and just maximize the screen okay so now what you want to be doing is just checking out whether the pip command is installed or not because we're going to be using this pip command Okay, so once it's, it's uh, once you see these old things, that means it's installed. Otherwise, uh, it will just show up an error that pip is not recognized. I'll just have another video of that thing sooner or later. But you can just Google that problem. Okay, so let me just clear the screen. And the another thing is that we're gonna use the pip statement now to install a module named auto pi to exe and that's the simplest module to convert a dot py towards a dot exe so just write pip install and just write auto hyphen pi hyphen to exe okay click on enter for me, it's already installed, so it says requirement already satisfied. For you, it will just really take some seconds to install it. Okay, let me just clear my screen. So, in order to make this file, like for you, it may be any file, and for me, it's test.py. So, if I want to make this file towards executable, I want to just run one command in my command prompt. Okay, so what's that? That is auto hyphen by hyphen to hyphen exe and click on enter that will just open up a browser for me um but for me it's a different application uh but for you it could be a browser okay not a big problem there okay so now script location um that means which file do you want to um convert to dot exe I can just browse that thing and let me just navigate towards my project directory. Yeah, now I'm in my project directory and this is a file I want to convert towards .exe. Click on open. Okay. Now, another thing is that you want to just write one directory or one file. So that's up to you. I'm not going to go in detail about that thing. I'm just going to choose one directory and if your program uses you know the console then you can just write console based if your program does not use this console then you can just write window based that means that will just hide the console another thing is that you know these old things have icons like chrome has some icon there notepad plus plus has some icon versus code has some icons you can also browse your icon in your file explorer and get them there so i'm not gonna do that thing okay and additional files, suppose your file has some images or it is you're running some external scripts, then you just want to add them towards the folder, uh, towards the, uh, this folder, okay? That is going to create for you. So you can just add file to an add folder, it's up to you. If, you do, if you have some images that this file uses and if you do not provide them right here, then that file is going to fail to execute. Okay, and advanced, when you go through here, you will get some um, things there that's not actually important. We could just go through them. And settings, um, where do you want them to be? So, let me say, I want them to be in this directory. Um, Control C, the path, and the space is right here. So, in my tutorial folder as output okay uh, my folder's name is output and which will be in this directory okay and once that all things are set up what you can do is convert .py to .exe that will just take some seconds but let me just watch forward through this video and yes I got them correct okay 
So now I can just open the output folder from here, or I can just clear the output, whatever I was what I have here. Okay, so let me just open my project directory. You will see there is a folder named output. And there is something called PyCache. Just go to your output folder, you will see your files name there. And you will see some thousand files there. And at the bottom six, um, you will see your file test. And if you just run this thing, you will see your file running smoothly. And that's what I wanted to tell you in this video. And in the next video, I'll be continuing with Py Installer if you want. Or this could be enough because this is just for small files. You can just use AutoPy to EXE for small files. But if you're using another thing called, let me just say, I want to exit for this thing. Yeah. So, um, you know, if you're using Py Installer, something called Py Installer, then that would be more okay if you're using for bigger files. But if you're using for smaller files, like some testing or something, then you can use AutoPy to EXE. But if you're using some big, big programs, then you can use the module Py Installer, which I'll be continuing in the next video. And for now, Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and thank you.